Hey guys, welcome back to Play Retro. So I keep getting this comment on my um, my tutorial video on how to flash stock OS to a new SD card. Uh, I forgot to mention how to actually use a, a two card setup. Um, I know there's people out there that keep getting this comment. If I want to run a two uh, two SD card setup, do I just install the OS on one card and then put the ROMs in the other? And this is this is your answer. So basically. I want to actually show you. I will take a picture of it and put it over screen. What's on the game manual? Insert a FAT32 formatted memory card into the external card of the game console, and a new folder for each platform will be created. Just put the game in the folder and select the game in the game room. So basically, all you need to do so, th this is my SD card. This was the stock one, my extra stock one I have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and for I erased it already. I'm going to create a partition and format it to FAT32. And I'm just going to put uh, G for games. You don't need to do that, but I'm going to do that. Then go ahead and apply it. It's going to format it to FAT32. And boom, you're done here. We can close this out. And now I'm going to go ahead and inject this from my computer. Okay, guys, so I'm back at my desk. And all I'm going to do is I, taken I ejected the SD card. This is that stock SD card that I just erased and formatted to FAT32. And now you want to put it into your, it says TF2 external, not internal, external. And once again, remember this goes this way. And all we're going to do is basically just power this on. So basically you're going to notice you get, when you go into your games room or RA game, uh, a retro art game room, you'll see these two options. So you just want to click external card, do the same thing here. Okay, and then all you have to do is power this off now. Shut down, goodbye. And now as soon as this is done, okay. So now you want to eject it and put it back in your computer. So yeah guys, we're back on the computer. I'm just going to insert this into my PC now. Okay, now you'll see when you plug it in, now you'll see your ROMs folder and a save folder. Um, there's no BIOS here. You can actually add the BIOS, your BIOS files in here as well. So you can go BIOS if you'd like, and then you can populate these folders. So in the ROMs folder, you'll see all your different systems here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and insert some games in here. That way um, you guys can see it on the console. One second. Okay, guys, so we're back on my desk. I've loaded this up with some Genesis games uh, just so you guys can see what that actually looks like. Okay, so when you go back into your game room, now when you go into this, everything else is empty except for Mega Drive. And then here's all your Mega Drive games. And this is off the second card right here. So that's how you do it. Uh, that's a two card setup is really simple all you have to do fat 32 formatted sd card insert it in here um let it do its thing create the folders eject it load it up with games put it back and you're good to go also i had another comment um someone asked how do you create a boot logo for this thing so like you saw my um play retro boot logo i'm gonna show you how to do that real quick all right guys okay so we're back on the computer i'm gonna just show you how to make uh this uh, this boot logo. So you want to head over to canva.com. This is the site I like to use, but you can use any um, image manipulator software. Um, I like this one because it's free. And this needs to be 640 by 480. Okay. Um, as soon as that's done, you have this. Now you want to just kind of um, do whatever you want, make some sort of design. Okay. So we're going to go with just add a color and then add like some sort of elements. Okay. So. I did this and then elements Let's use this diamond you know maybe we'll duplicate it you know okay and then we'll duplicate that one and then put it over here okay and then you just want to go over here click download and then download it as uh, as PNG but well, before you do that you um I just want you to name this to boot logo. Name this boot logo, no space. Boot logo, no space. And then go ahead and download it to BMP. Uh, you want to use any of these online convert. Cloud convert is decent, um, but they limit you per day. So 
convert to BMP right here. I'm going to hit select file, click the newly um, the boot logo .bmp you just made, and then you want to just convert it to convert to BMP and hit convert. So I'll give this a second, it's going to process, and then you can just download a new one. So this is the correct one you actually need. We're going to go ahead and open it and look at it, okay? And then just for fun, I'm going to move this over to my desktop, okay? So now, all you need to do, I'm pretty sure I already showed you how to do this, but... So, you want to go into your SD card. If your partition is not visible, like it is invisible here, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go into your mini partition tool wizard. Mini tool partition wizard, sorry about that. And then you just want to unhide the boot partition and then you just want to unhide partition and give it a good letter don't give it D because most of the time D is default so give it any other letter and you just want to hit apply now you should be able to see that partition go over here there it is okay so here's your boot logo your original boot logo that's the one I have in my system right now which I'm actually gonna back it up so I'm gonna um, let's put my I'm gonna put it in a folder because it can't be on the same spot. Um, boot. Let's call it boot. I'm gonna move this old one in here, and then I'm gonna put this new one in here. And then you just wanna hit replace this file, and boom, you're done. Now you can just um, I would unhide it again. Go back into your mini tool partition wizard. You want to close this and then go ahead and go here, right click, hide partition, and apply, and you should be good to go. Yeah, I'm back on my desk. Just going to put my um, main SD card back in here. After changing the boot logo, I'm not using it, uh, and then just power this on. And there it is. That's how you change your boot logo. Okay, so uh, leave a like if, if this uh, video helped you out. Um, subscribe for more content. Uh, let me know what you want to see in my next video. Definitely ask more questions so I can make more video for you guys. And yeah, um, thanks for watching.